I arrive at Tybee Island on a September morning, not entirely sure what to expect from this coastal Georgia town. I know it has a lighthouse, built in 1773. I know it has a fort, built in 1832. And I know it has long been the beach of choice for nearby Savannah residents. But I'm here for another reason. I've heard Tybee Island is home to one of the most unique campgrounds in the States, the River's End Campground and RV Park. It's beautiful. We've been here before and we really like this place. And the people are real helpful and friendly here. On the island's south end, this nine-acre site might be slightly off the beaten path, but it's also less than three blocks to the beach and the Savannah River. It's such an attractive piece of land that the city purchased River's End for $7 million in 2006, making it the only municipally owned campground in Georgia. I've come here to discover firsthand what makes this place so special and to find out how the campground has managed to blossom in these tough economic times. My quest for knowledge begins with manager Woody Hemphill. On the north end was the old uh, Fort Scriven. Woody's been here since the city took over in 2006. It, it needed a little TLC, shall we say, um, and that's what we've provided here in the last couple of years. Under Woody's supervision, the campground has moved into the modern era. They've upgraded infrastructure, so many of the RV sites now have cable and wireless internet. They've remodeled the lodge hall so it can now host everything from card games to meetings. They've also created more room for tents, plus built six cabins that sleep six. I ask Woody to show me around, so we hop in his golf cart and cruise by the dog park, the swimming pool, and the screened-in pavilion where they show movies. On our ride, he tells me the campground has been around for about 40 years, finding a pleasant existence under a canopy of live oaks. Woody tells me he sees all kinds come through here, but that's just part of the charm. 99% of the folks you meet in camping are fantastic folks. Georgia's northernmost barrier island, Tybee is 16 miles east of Savannah. It's a quiet town of about 3,000 residents and feels like a far cry from the coast's more commercial hubs. You can definitely get the slice of Americana. Um, it's it's kind of like Mayberry with a beach, I guess. As far as beaches go, this one's not real crowded. It's, uh, it's clean, it's beautiful sand. It's just a really nice beach. So we really enjoy just coming down here. The people that we meet here are wonderful people. And we always make a trip to the uh, Crab Shack. Of course, Tybee's main draw is the wide three-mile beach that's sandwiched between the Atlantic Ocean and sea oak-covered sand dunes. Lay back and relax and walk the beach. As the day winds down and campers start to settle in for the evening, it occurs to me that River's End Campground wouldn't fit in with some of those other coastal towns. It also occurs to me that I'm glad the city decided to preserve this piece of land. Norman Rockwell meets, you know, the, the seashore, so to speak. I came here not knowing what to expect, but as I prepare to leave, I'm certain I'll be back, and I'm equally certain I won't be alone. It's just, just the best of Tybee. This is our first time here at River's End, but uh, I can already tell you we're talking about staying some extra days. Everybody that, that comes is not really a tourist, it's, you know, they're, they're new in town. 